Hello, I'm Leah. And I'm Emily. And we're from leahgriffith.com. Today we are going to whisk you away to the French Riviera with these 12 crafts. When I think of the French Riviera, I can imagine all of the bright pink bougainvillea. And so that's where we started this collection. For our member make this month, we are making a crepe paper version of the bougainvillea. Look at all of these beautiful details. I think it came out wonderful. And this is definitely a beginner project, but I think it's a good one to have at any level because this would make a gorgeous arrangement. Our second paper flower for the month are these white oleander flowers. And they're made from cardstock. I'm loving the way that Megan is transforming cardstock these days. Seriously, these almost look real. For our third paper flower, we made these amaranth green tails. And if you're taking my arranging class in August, I did use these flowers in my swag garland arrangement. I can understand why they have such a beautiful shape. They have a swag about them. They're just swaggy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and now we shift over to felt. When I saw these flowers, the first thing that went through my mind was, who wore it better? <laughs> <laughs> Krista made this felt version of the bougainvillea, and I absolutely love these. I don't know who wore it better. I'm really torn on the fence between the crepe version and the felt version. Our felt animal this month is this adorable French bulldog. And talk about swag. I think I can picture this guy just walking down the French boardwalk. And next up, we have these delicious looking French macarons. These are made from felt, so unfortunately we can't be eating them. This project also comes with the box template so that you can make these up and give them as a gift. If you're planning on doing some reading this summer or need a great gift idea for almost anybody, you can make these felt monogram bookmarks. This was my embroidery project for the month and they were really fun. I love how these satin stitch monograms turned out. You can customize them for whoever you're gifting them to. And I did two color variations. You can use any colors you like, but these ones went with our theme. And we all know when you're vacationing, you're going to need a good bag. Even if it's a teeny tiny one, just to carry your phone. Megan made this from our macrame cord and these little wood bead details and I just love it. And you can also customize this for any size phone. Another bag idea is to take this canvas bag and add some detail with some heat transfer vinyl and some leather handles. I love how these leather handles came out. It makes it so comfortable to hold. I think that's my new bag. For our artwork this month, I made this layered watercolor Mirabelle Plum design. This is a perfect project for a beginner who wants to learn watercolor because as you can see in the little short video in our post, Emily just watercolored the paper almost randomly mm -hmm. and then cut it out with a cutting machine, although you can cut it by hand, mm -hmm. and then layer them onto the backer. And I love this piece. This is going in my house. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I think that randomized paint texture just gives it such a neat look. If you're having a summer party this year, look at these adorable sun umbrellas that you can make up to put into your drinks. And of course, you can choose any color, but I love this color palette. Mm -hmm. And these are made from layered cardstock. And we all know when you're on vacation, all you want to do is send a letter back home. So we made these very cute print and cut vintage envelopes and a printable postcard as well. So there are the 12 French Riviera inspired crafts, but we do have a few bonuses. For our craft camp this month, we made these very cute felt fox keychains, and these are two different variations. We have the glue version and the needle felting version. And that video will be available for free on YouTube. For Aaliyah Live, we'll be popping over to the tropics and I'll show you how to make these mini Protea pincushion flowers. And I've also used these in my flower arranging masterclass. This is definitely a beginner flower, and you'll want to learn how to make them if you are going to be doing tropical arrangements because they make great filler flowers. You can find all of the tools and materials for all 14 of these crafts in our shop, feltpaperscissors.com. And remember to follow us for more craft ideas. 